Cooking up a fire has been part of the Australian way of life ever since anyone has been here. You can't take fire away from who we are as humans because it's a connection with our, our primal past, that first form of cooking. And that's what today is all about. You need to crank up the fire. Yeah. The first thing I need to do is make sure that the fires are controlled perfectly. Just chuck them on, move those together, because we need that hot. Keeping that fire going, keeping at the right temperature, that's going to be the challenge today. Oh, it's lit. Oh, my god, I lit it. Are you the fire guy? You working up a sweat? <laughs> huh? Apparently. You're a bit warm. I'm apparently the fire guy. <laughs> I'm really excited for Lay Links to be here today. He's a really big chef in Australia. He has an amazing restaurant fire door. And I'm actually hoping that I can learn a few things today. Fire needs lots of things. Yeah. It needs oxygen, it needs yep. fuel. But as soon as you feed in more wood, it instantly goes colder. Because actually, the biggest amount of heat is going to get over embers. Yeah, OK. The most consistent amount Five of heat. red ones. Yeah. The hard thing about cooking with fire is that you find it really hard to moderate the temperature. Not only that, you really have to keep the flames light, so that's something that's going to be difficult. All right, how are we going? My sauce is, like, pretty much done. Excellent. That's all of it. I finished my sauce now for entrees, but it's taking a lot longer than we first anticipated. Can we get onto the squid? Squid, yep. Perfect. Kuda is asking for a tester, which I think is brilliant. She's doing such a great job as a captain, so I go over and cook my squid. I want the tentacles to be quite charred because I love that smoky flavour in it. And then the tubes itself to just be just cooked. I don't want it to overdo it because if I do, then it'll be quite chewy. Because I've done a tester on tray, I know that the squid only takes a couple of minutes to cook. I think it's done, so I actually think it's it done. needs less time than what I thought. Okay. Don't you reckon that that's charred enough yeah, and that's, that's done? Yeah, that's charred. Yep, okay, cool. Yep. So I'm gonna leave it right until the end. I just make sure that all the trays are prepped with the squid and all we have to do is put it on the flames. Hold up, where are you? Your, your, your squid, you've done your tester. How long, how long do you think that squid is going to take when you cook 30 in a pan? Um, they'll probably take several minutes. There's going to be four going at a time. So are you going to be able to plate up all the plates with your capsicum and then do the squid? Because you understand we've got like 18 minutes. Yes. And everything's got to, everything's got to be done. 100%. It will be done. So you need to be cleaning down, you need to have yep. the space. You've got to put the plates yep. out somewhere. At yep. the moment, all you've got is mayhem. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, I need two trays. Yes, here. Uh, it's okay. becoming a bit chaotic. OK, you're OK. We need the entree. Service is about to start and we need to motor. That sauce has to be ready in those plates cos I want to chuck that We're changing on. it over to this, these plates. OK. Come on! Service is about to start and we need to get all those squids cooking. We need to motor, guys. We need to motor. Move everything away from here. We need this for service. I'm busting their chops and I know it, but I do not want to disappoint. All right, Samira, get those breads toasting. Samira's bread is out of the oven and it's looking so beautiful. I'm very happy with my bread. It's the first time I've used a proper wood fire oven to cook the bread and it tastes really beautiful. I'm so happy. This first batch of squid is ready for service. Entree service starts and the squid's cooked just in time. So I'm going to put beautiful. that there. Yeah, beautiful. And then I'll do the tentacle. Can sauce tastes so delicious. It took a lot of time pounding all the ingredients, but we got there in the end. And I'm so chuffed right now. Service, please. Char grilled squid with a roasted capsicum sauce, wood fine bread. So Samira made the bread, which is fantastic to see. And, and there, there's some good, there's some good signs of fire. There are little blister marks on the on the squid and on the tomato. So, yeah, look, if anything's cooked well, that could be very exciting. I'm surprised and pleased <laughs> because Khan was cooking that squid, I reckon, with about 30 seconds to go. I think as the plates were going out, it was still going over the charcoal. So for me, it's beautifully cooked. And that sort of pepper sauce is really tasty. And the great thing is they did, they did a tester on the squid, yeah. and it's, it's yeah. tender. And cooked it beautifully. There's lots to love about this plate of food. Mm. Making the bread is super awesome. The fact that Samira made the bread from scratch 
Put it in the oven. Great texture, yeah. nice char on the toast. Already got a bit smoky. Really, a little bit smoky. Great. Squid was excellent. Fred was very tasty. I liked the char on the outside. I was looking for seconds. I really enjoyed it. I thought the squid was very tender. It went nicely with the capsicum sauce. Is it good? Awesome. Just need salt on the end. OK. Where's cool, my cool, salt thing? Cool, cool, cool. Everything has come together. The capsicum's on there, the quail's on there. We put some sage on the side so it's nice for the crisp element. They actually is looking great on the plate. It's looking really good, you guys. This dish is very simple, but it's very tasty. I just hope that it's enough for the judges after all the effort that went into making it. Red tea. Marinated quail, charred capsicum, and crispy sage. Well, what do you reckon about the look? Can you see a bit of, a bit of smoke and fire in there? Yeah, I've got a nice bit of caramelization on the quail itself, which is good. It's not blackened, uh, which is good to see, because that yeah. could often be the case. I, I like how the quail's cooked. It's, mine's beautifully pink. I mean, they actually pulled the quail cooking off, which I was surprised at. What we've got is quail that's cooked really well. Yeah. And, you know, the great texture of those capsicums. 15 minutes to go, I think we were all sitting there going, yeah. are they even going to have a dish? So, so what, they, what they put up is, is a credit to them, and, yeah. and, it's a, and, and it's a great combination. So you've got you to give that to them. It's not far, is it? No, it's I not. mean, that's what's exciting right now. We've tasted the starters from the blue and the red team, and it's, it's, it's really close. My quail was cooked beautifully. It was ever so slightly pink. It was succulent, slightly smoky, really tasty. Quail was really nice. It was really soft. I hadn't had quail before, so very tasty. <laughs>